Hello, Thailand's military says former Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat is being treated well. She was taken into custody after being summoned to a meeting by the coup leader Army General Prayuth Chanocha on Friday. An additional 35 people will also be summoned on Saturday. The military held a news conference a short time ago. For those who have the, the position, for example, former leader of the country, they will be hmm? honored, will be looked after, they will be um, well looked after. Talking about you know, the word detention, um, I understand that in English word to have, have a very, very negative um, meaning. Of course, it still have a very negative meaning. I don't deny that. But the way that we deal with this case, we um, look after them very well. We provide them a good um, facility. Uh, Veronica Pedrosa is live for us in Bangkok. Veronica, anything more uh, we learned from that news conference? Well, 35 more people have been added to the list of those who have been ordered to report to the military for questioning. Now, if we go by what happened yesterday when opposition politicians were called, including Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat, um, it probably means that they will be detained. Now, on this list is, uh, are a number of um, well-known politicians and, for the first time, academics. So here we have another indication of the way that the new military government is clamping down on freedom of expression. As it happens, a group of scholars did write a letter calling for martial law to be lifted uh, and for the coup d'etat to finish as soon as possible just on Friday. So, so I think that this is a reaction to that. I also want to mention, Hazem, that as we speak, there is another standoff going on between anti-coup protesters and the military outside a major department store. This was not expected to be that big, but it looks like it's escalating. And just to let you know, there is another anti-coup protest that is planned for five o'clock local time this afternoon. And we were at a demonstration like that on Friday night. It looks like they want to repeat performance. It did get a little heated at times. Five people were arrested. So what you're seeing is a kind of small scale resistance to the rule that the military say is supposed to bring peace and order. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Thailand is no stranger to, to, to coups uh, like this. I mean, w what's the general mood in the country right now? And is there any sort of a, a sense of a timetable here as to, as to when this might end? Um, there's no timetable at all. The most that the military have said is that these detentions of politicians across the board academics, uh, protesters, uh, the, the politicians at least, are, they, they've told diplomats, will be in place for about a week. The idea is a kind of, it's a kind of time out. You, you know when you have a naughty child, you put them in the corner for a few minutes so that they stop having a tantrum. It's something like that, they say. I don't know that there's any legal basis in normal criminal law for locking someone up for that, but this is martial law. Things are different. This is how they think they might be able to win a space for opposing mil political factions to speak to each other. As far, far as military rule is concerned, General Prayuth Chanocha says he wants to put in place reforms before there are elections. Realistically, um, analysts are saying this is going to take what? perhaps a year, perhaps a year or two. Uh, it's not, that is not clear at all. All they're saying is that they will be there for as long as it takes. The general mood of the country is very difficult to assess at the moment. The last time there was a coup in 2006, things were very different. This, the, we're seeing some of the most severe restrictions on freedom of expression in recent history in Thailand. Uh, but people are much more used to standing up for what they know to be their rights. So this is a very interesting um, test of how far people are willing to stand up for their individual rights and how far the military is going to go in their um, desire to clamp down in order, they say, for peace and order. Veronica Pedrosa, live for us in Bangkok. Thanks for that. Uh, more on the uh, situation in Thailand now. The military says former Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat is being treated well.
for those who have the, the position, for example, former leader of the country, they will be hmm? honored, will be looked after, they will be um, well looked after. Talking about you know, the word detention, um, I understand that in English word perhaps we have a very, very negative um, meaning. Of course, it still have a very negative meaning. I don't deny that. But the way that we deal with this case, we um, look after them very well. We provide them a good um, facility. Our private Rojana Fruk is a columnist with the Thai news agency The Nation. He joins us now from uh, Bangkok to talk more about this. Thank you for being with us. Um, now, obviously, a lot of people both inside and outside Thailand have been very uh, critical uh, of what the military um, has done here. And unfortunately, uh, Thailand is, is no stranger um, to, to military coups. Uh, but this is not the first time as well that they have acted against um, uh, uh, attacks in uh, government and, and their supporters have long promised to, to fight back against any uh, intervention to remove their governments. Um, is there a danger here that, that, that things could spiral out of control now? Definitely. There's a real danger that the military junta will not be able to keep the lid. Just as this morning, uh, a few hours ago, the military junta has summoned additional 35 people to report to the military junta. And these 35 people are mostly activists and well-known academics. And if they refuse to uh, submit themselves to the military junta, they could face an imprisonment term of two years. Yesterday, there were also protests with about two to 300 people in the heart of Bangkok, with five being arrested. And just a while ago, soldiers have been dispatched to another location in Bangkok to stop protesters from getting together. So the situation is very fluid. Indeed, uh, but there, uh, there was a, a very, uh, I mean, the, the, the political deadlock that preceded uh, all of this, were, there was no denying that, and it didn't seem as if, that there were, uh, as if the, the, the political leaders, uh, that there was any chance of them resolving their differences. So the military are saying that they were forced to act uh, because of this. What, what do you say to that? Well, they can do what they like, but by shutting the ears and eyes and mouth of the people, I don't think it would give Thailand any lasting solution at all. So as it is, they can't even maintain the semblance of uh, peace and order as people are going out to protest against the coup. And this is just less than 48 hours after the coup was staged. What do you read into the fact that at this point uh, so far there hasn't been any, uh, any, any violence uh, at, at so far at this stage? Obviously, it is very uh, early. Um, I mean, do, do you fear that the longer this goes on, that, that, that situation may change? Definitely. If the military junta doesn't very quickly pave, give us a time frame, for the restoration of elections and democracy, I think more and more people will be frustrated. And this is not just people who support Thaksin or Ying Lak Shinawatra, but Thais who are fed up with having the military intervening in politics and su suppressing civil liberties every now and then. Good to get your thoughts on this, Pravit Rojan Prok. Uh, thanks for being with us. This time. We um, look after them very well. We provide them a good um, facility. Thailand's military rulers detain former Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat and other political figures. Even as anti-coup protests begin in the capital, Bangkok. Hello, I'm Fauzia Ibrahim, and you're watching Al Jazeera Live from our headquarters in Doha. Also on the program, northern separatists in Mali agree to a ceasefire after humiliating government troops. We will ask whether or all-out civil war has been averted. Syria's Nusra Front takes its allies, the Islamic Front, to task for being excessively moderate. An 
anti-government protests in Turkey as demonstrators raise slogans against the police and the ruling AK Party. Well, more Thai leaders have been summoned to a meeting with coup leaders who've already detained former Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat and other political figures. Now, Ying Lak was taken into custody after she was called to a meeting with Army General Prayuth Chanocha. She's being held at an undisclosed location after her government was forced out in a coup. The military has tried to reassure the public about the welfare of the detainees. For those who have the, the position, for example, former leader of the country, they will be hmm? honored, will be looked after, they will be um, well looked after. Talking about you know, the word detention, I um, understand that in English word perhaps we have a very, very negative um, meaning. Of course, it still have a very negative meaning, I don't deny that. But the way that we deal with this case, we um, look after them very well, we provide them a good um, Facility. Meanwhile, anti-coup protests have been taking place in Bangkok. <laughs> Hundreds of people gathered outside a shopping mall in the city's north demanding an end to military rule. They scuffled briefly with police who tried to move them away. Well, let's get the latest now from Veronica Pedrosa, who joins us live from Bangkok. Now, Veronica, you are at one of these anti-coup rallies. But let's make this clear. This, these are anti-coup rallies, not necessarily in support of former Prime Minister Ying Lak. No, indeed. Let me explain to you that I am actually at that anti-coup rally right now. We are at the major Ratchayotin complex in the Lab Prao area. And several hundred people have been here for a couple of hours now already. In just the last few seconds, there was no one around me a few seconds ago. But now, as you can see, the police have lined up against me on this side, on my right-hand side. Um, and on the left-hand side, there is a crowd of ordinary civilian subjects who are taking pictures, shouting at them. It is seemingly very spontaneous. And as you say, the military rule that was imposed was justified, explained as a means to bring peace and order to the country between uh, the opposing political sides. And what you're seeing now are a kind of small-scale resistance uh, and disorder that is to do with the coup. Now, the military have said, as you mentioned, that they've detained politicians from both sides of the divide. Uh, but this is really like a timeout for both sides, is that right? But what happens next? This is a question that everybody is asking the military whenever they do these press conferences. What became apparent this morning was that 35 more people were being added to the list of characters who were personalities who were being summoned to report to the military. They include for the first time academics, which seems to be another um, indication that freedom of expression is going to be the first victim, as the human rights activists put it, of this martial law, of this new military uh, rule. The military said on Tuesday uh, morning that this was not uh, going to be a coup. Two days later, it became a coup. The military say that those politicians will be released within seven days. But what they're doing is summoning more people who will probably be detained as well. So there is a gap between what is being said and what is being done. And human rights activists are saying that human rights are in free fall in time. All right, Veronica, we're going to have to let you go now. We can just see the soldiers, the police behind you, the riot police behind you, just shuffling along there, no doubt trying to clear the protests. Veronica Pedrosa there, reporting for us from Bangkok. Now we move on to 